Hey guys, it's Danny, and this is a delicata squash. Now, as you can see, it's much smaller than most winter squash. So it is the perfect beginner's winter squash because it's really manageable, it's easy to work with, and it tastes insanely delicious. So today I'm showing you how to roast a delicata squash. So I've got my oven preheating to 425 degrees, and the first thing I'm gonna do is give my squash a good rinse under some cold water. Unlike most winter squash, you can actually eat the skin and the flesh of a delicata squash. So you just wanna make sure you give it a good rinse. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim a nice thin slice off the top and off the bottom of the squash. This is gonna give me a flat base to work on. So I'm gonna stand up my squash, take your knife right over the top, and then you're just gonna gently push straight down to cut the squash in half lengthwise. Now once you've got it open, you're gonna notice that it has all these stringy membranes and the seeds inside, just like you see in most winter squash. So I'm just gonna grab a spoon and scoop that right out. Now remember guys, these seeds are just like pumpkin seeds, so you could totally roast them up with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, so make sure that you don't throw them out. Okay, once your squash is all clean like this, then I like to flip it onto its side and then slice into half inch moons. Get them onto a rimmed baking sheet, Drizzle them with a teaspoon of olive oil. You're gonna need about a teaspoon of olive oil per squash. Pinch of kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper. Then I'm just gonna use my hands to toss it all together. Make sure each piece of squash has a nice light coating of the oil and that the salt and pepper is all over everything. Okay, then Here's the deal, it can be close, they can be close to each other, but you don't want them to touch or overlap because the goal here is to have them roasted. When they're all on top of each other, they end up steaming, and we don't want steamed squash. We want nice, golden, caramelized, roasted squash. Now that I've got it all laid out and ready to go, I'm gonna pop this into my 425 degree oven, set my timer for 12 minutes, then at 12 minutes, we're gonna flip them. That is exactly what I want. And go for another 12. Okay, now the great thing about the little delicata squash is once it's cooked up, it's actually delicious, both hot and cold. So what I'll usually do is I'll make a few of these on the weekend when I'm doing most of my food prep, and then I'll have them all cooked up and stored, ready to go in my refrigerator, and I can pull them out during the week. Something I really like to do with it, I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time eating salads when the weather starts getting colder, unless it's a nice hearty salad. So I'll take a winter squash like this, chop it up and add it to my salads to make the salad a little bit heartier and more satisfying for the colder months. So when your squash is all done, it's gonna have this golden brown on the outside. And then the inside's gonna be really rich and creamy and has this mild nutty flavor. So good. Mmm. Everything I just said. You guys have to do me a favor. Next time you're at the grocery store and you see one of these little delicata squashes, pick one up, bring it home, roast it, eat it, come down in the comments below and let me know what you think. And if you want to print the recipe, head on over to cleananddelicious.com where you can print this and all my recipes. And while you're there, you may want to stop and subscribe for the newsletter because I put lots of good stuff in there that you don't get unless you're on that list. And if you like this video, like it, please, down below. Share it with anybody that you think would like it as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you next time with some more Clean and Deliciousness. Cheers. My husband and I are gonna be fighting over this plate. We should have made more than one. So hang on to them and don't throw them out. Like that. Ready? That's my little tip for you.